In primetime news this evening, police swoop down on corporate era properties as part of fraud investigations at SSL. Prime Minister promises accountability as fraud probes at SSL deepens and a man caught in video beating a woman now in prison. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News. We're live on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I am Javon Keyes. And I'm Kalisha William. There's also the financial week where one private sector leader is urging employers to help Jamaicans learn more about investing. We're changing things up a bit because Giovanni Dennis is here with a preview of what's to come in sports. Well, Javon, it's too close to call. Can they ship separate Shelley and Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson for the Sportswoman of the Year award at this evening's National Awards Gala at the Jamaica Pegasus? And defamation case still haunting JFF President Michael Ricketts ahead of board meeting on Sunday. I'll have the details for these and much more in primetime sports. And Romaine Robinson is also here with a preview of what's to come in weather. Thank you so much. We are expecting a dry weekend this weekend, but we're still holding Monday for some shore activity across the area. Windy conditions prevail as well. Thanks, Romaine. There's also sports commentary and E-Prime in this newscast, but before the break, the feedback question. And this evening, we're asking how much confidence do you have in the authorities to get justice for SSL investors? Share those comments online at facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet us at television jam one. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns right after this break. <laughs> 